Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to a <laughs> great start. Welcome to a game called Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, I was reading some awkward zombie, and I was actually in the mood to play some Fire Emblem, but I didn't feel like digging out my DS, so I googled, "What are some games on PC like Fire Emblem?" And they were like, "Oh, hey, Valkyria Chronicles got a good port to PC." And I was like, "Oh, cool! I was always, always, always interested in that." Because uh, several years ago, Yahtzee Croshaw, uh, the reviewer, did a review of this game. And he was like, I hated it and it sucks. And I was like, that sounds like an awesome game. Uh, so I went to go wishlist it. And it turns out that I bought it about 11 months ago. <laughs> that, that, guy, that guy looks hot. You look hot. An anime character with a beard? Hell yeah. So I was told, I was briefed that this is just like, that this is anime World War II. But now that I'm looking at it, it looks not really like anything. They got watermelons? God damn. Oh, they got anime glasses, boy. The art style's like pretty solid here, by the way. Like the weird hybrid, um, like cell shading and stuff. I can't wait to look at those photos again and weep openly. I'll do that, yeah. <laughs> you know they're in love when the frame rate drops out. I haven't finished my replay of FF8, but I think that they do that in FF8 as well. Valkyria Chronicles. All right. Let's see if this will just... Let me just... Let me fix this. Action cam. Wait. I need to fix the... There's a huge black bar on the bottom of the screen. Are you telling me I can't fix it in the... Oh, we can set it to... That's nice. One moment. Alright, this is the best that I could fix it with. I guess this is just what it runs with. Oh, also I put this fun hat on. I was like, hey, it's like an officer's cap. The closest thing to a military garment I own. Uh... This is a chauffeur's cap, actually. I bought it for, uh, to indicate my life of servitude. On the Galian Front by Irene Kuller. The year was 1935 EC. Hold on. We gotta have subtitles. It's an anime game. There's gonna be a lot of talking and I'm not reading it all. But also, I'm going to talk over it, so... Display subtitles. Yeah. Galen Front, Eileen Cole. Irene, in fact. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. Oh, I just spoke too soon. <laughs> in the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. So it does take place on Earth. On precious mineral ragnite for their Besides that, I guess. And its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. Cool. They really made them look evil. Vaguely like Teutonic Knights, but also vaguely like cats. 
gaining ground in early victories and putting the federation Does it serve anyone to have a giant cool looking lance? Like I know that it's cool and you look like a jouster. The empire set their sights beyond the borders of the federation. But like in neighboring Gallia, a peaceful you know? principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two. Boo. Stars. Boo neutrality. Galleon. Okay. I've been saying it, Galleon. And invaded with all the force of an avalanche. So one problem about wearing this hat is that it makes one side of my head look too flat because it'll flatten down my hair. Also, vaguely makes me look like a village person. Prologue. I'm going to take this stupid thing off. There, now I'm just back to having my stupid hair. I like how it's like, no, excited. It's kind of interesting that the whole, like, framing device is a book. March, 1935. And what's more, that this is a, a neutral uh, party to this conflict that is then dragged into the war. It's a good uh, it's a good place for protagonists to live, I guess. Residents are leaving the technology the seems all over the place, but I guess that's kind of because of the Ragnite. The they they'll just, you know, write it off and be like, "Don't worry about it. It's Ragnite." And I'll be like, "You're right." I wonder if that guy's important. I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Already? Scoops him up with his hey, hands. Guys? Starts biting into them like apples. Just <laughs> starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? <laughs> see, that's the thing. If you see someone, if you're doing something weird outside, then whatever. But if someone sees you do it, then you're weird. You're normal until the second that someone else encounters you. Freeze. Put your hands in the air. Slowly. Why? He's unarmed. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Uh, I live nearby. My name's Welkin. And you are the one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. Oh, that explains everything, yes. You having a gun makes it okay. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. Uh, this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? People do shit during a war. Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Uh, uh, thanks, fish. I mean, normally I would be one to complain about just talk. I get that war would make someone jumpy, but like, you could also just frisk him right now. If you're going to abuse your power like that, you may as well, right? Man, JRPGs, huh? Flowers, bugs and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very Almost makes me feel bad you're being sent to the gulag. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code, and I intend to take my time finding out for sure. Welks? Is that you? Isara. Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. Oh, I love I love JRPGs having to animate people talking and they don't know how to do anything and they're just like aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, 
Unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh, anime pout. I apologize. But Just I doing my little my war criminal anime pout. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Welx has a real passion for observing nature. That's why Welks. he's studying it at the university, right? I'd rather be called nothing. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Over there! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> that guy just got actually fucking capped! Damn it! Man, this game gives you the cute storybook aesthetics and then they just sucker punch you. I've been going for like 10 minutes. Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Fine by me. You know? Like, hey, they're invaders in your country. Who gives a shit? Thank you. <laughs> it gives you the uh it gives you the uh uh like PS3 like save menu style save. That's cute. Still can't fix that. Okay. I can't see the L on there. It just looks like encounter it bruh with an exclamation point. Encounter it bruh. Okay, here's the plan. The casualties are four so far. There was that family of three that got gunned down. And then there was that soldier. Imperial scouts approaching bull. Deploy from here and take out all three. Cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Eliminate all enemies. Take them one at a time nice and easy. Failure is in 20 turns or if either of our characters die. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. What was the other guy's girl's name? Isara? Player phase. Excerpt from the anthem of the something something. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Yeah, there's like an inherent nobility to Ravankism, you know? Listen a second. There's something I should explain. Tutorializing, yay. Did they have to call it that? About command points. When combat starts, you'll see a map of your area and your unit's positions. This is command mode. Select the unit you like to move based on their position respective to the enemy and press A. Doing so uses your CP displayed at the top of the screen. They reflect your ability as a commander and represent the number of times you can order your units each player phase. Give instructions, i.e. control. In this battle, you have three. So issue three instructions to your unit. Issue instructions to your units up to three times. Move one now. A Welkin, let's see a, a miscellaneous, miscellaneous guard. I'll use Alicia. She's kind of growing on me. AP, action points. You'll be plunged into action mode. Is inside. My cat sneezed. Uh, freely move. What? Freely move the unit you selected around the field. It'll gradually deplete. When it reaches zero, you can't move. Keep an eye on the remaining AP until. While they are in motion, is critical to keeping them safe. Use the left stick to get to the sandbags. Whoa. Weird. So let's look at Alicia while we have a second. I like her like hybrid, like wartime and modern style and like 19th century farm girl chic, you know? This rifle looks like. Kind of reminds me of a Mosin. It kind of reminds me of a Garand. It kind of like. 
the way that the 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 magazine gets loaded in vaguely reminds me of an AK-47. The muzzle does too a little bit. Oh, you can see her kind of reflected in the water. That's interesting. All right, and we can see them too. Okay. Whoa. Enter target mode. Prepare to attack with the selected weapon. Use the left... St okay. Uh, or snap between targets. They won't attack when you're in target mode, so aim well and press A to fire. It'll end somewhere in the circle surrounding the crosshairs, so center it on the target. Headshots do damage. You can only attack once per action, so choose wisely. If they survive, they may launch a counterattack. Damage unit may not have the HP to survive the counter, so be careful when planning your attack. Can I go out? Oh, it's a Galian one. That's funny. What else do I have? Got a potato masher. And a ragnade. Interesting. With zero remaining AP that is performed an attack, can, cannot act further. Press B. Turn to command mode. You can also end it early with B. Cool. Probably would have been better to get to the sandbags before. You can do it, miscellaneous town watch man. Cool. There's not a chance that this guy isn't dying in a cutscene, right? Weird. So, like, about using cover. When near sandbags, crouch will appear. Press A to hit behind them. When hiding behind them, you take your harder to target, take less damage, and are immune to crit damage. In the open, you'll get hit by enemy attacks easier and make and take more damage. Advance carefully, move from cover to cover, and end your actions hidden safely from harm. Doing so should keep your troops alive long enough to secure a victory for Gallia. This rock looks good. But it isn't. That's too bad. Ready to go. Interesting. This is like a... It's almost more like a hybrid XCOM. By the way, the reason that I'm not playing XCOM instead of... Uh, The reason I'm not playing XCOM instead of a more traditional... Because I said I wanted to play Fire Emblem. The reason I'm not playing XCOM is because I wanted to play something with a lot of anime aesthetics. Alright. Enemy turn. One player enemy phase is a single turn. I much prefer saying turns and rounds instead of phases and turns, but whatever. For your turns you complete a mission in, the more cash and XP you receive. That's an interesting thing, because normally you just want to, like, lame it out like it's cross teching Finding a challenging balance. Cool. The counterattack is staying good. 
He's very, very far away, but he is coming up on us. Interesting. Even a limited pool of CP can be used to take out a significant number of foes. Use it on the same... Okay. One unit three times. Perfect for cutting into enemy lines and hurrying past dangerous terrain. People get tired. They'll start each consecutive action with fewer AP. Mm. You end your phase. The CP will be carried over to the next turn. How you choose to manage it will decide your fate. That's ominous. What about you? I was really hoping that would have killed. Pardon me, sir. Let's have you do it again. Cool. So yeah, it's almost like... Like, it is like Fire Emblem or like Banner Saga or XCOM. But you also have like... Gears of War style cover and positioning. Which is interesting. B rank. 200 XP and 500 DCC. DCT? Oh man. <laughs> uh, nothing makes you make sure that you know that this is anime. Besides some sort of promise. There's no other sign of the enemy. Is that Camp Clark? Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, That's my job as Town Watchman we One. Bodies, we'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. The rest of the country can get fucked, I'll though. Even going to war, I'll do it. I like her gloves. What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I feel like this story is is lessened by the fact that they outright said them. Europe and Once and stuff, you know? That it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war there was also new life. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of. Well, don't give it away now. I'm like legitimately excited. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate, and of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict, and of those who fought, lived, and died. 
I'm gonna have to cosplay these guys. Hell yeah. The storybook aesthetic is so, so good for this. Like, it lets you keep the anime stuff going on without it getting too stupid. Chapter one, in defense of Bruel. Why is this chapter titled like a modern YouTube video essay on a bad movie? The way that these are all spaced out is pretty nice as well. Fuck rotating my saves. Because, like, for example, I recently played Yakuza 7 with my fiancé, and, like, wow. Sometimes that game will just let you go for hours and not let you save. The opening is brutal. If you don't save in the little bit of time where you think you have an opportunity to save in the intro, you don't get to save, and you just play for a while. Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful. I think killing people together does make you better friends. Interesting double win windmill. I've never seen anything like that before. It's probably real and does exist. I've just never encountered something like it. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye and take care. <laughs> They lean to each other, they're like, Phew. Thank God we'll never see her again. How's the packing coming along, East? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by Sunday. I feel like nobody trusts Empires anymore. I talked about this a little bit in like the context of like Skyrim. Specifically Skyrim, not just the Elder Scrolls, but like in Skyrim, it's like, oh, yeah, the Empire. And it's like, oh, the Empire. They must be evil. Because, like, I feel like people are almost conditioned to just think that the Empire is evil. Um, And, like, in something like this, maybe that's not necessarily the case. But, like, you know, it's like a thing. And, like, it makes other Elder Scrolls even, especially if you, you come off of Skyrim and go to the other ones... Where the Empire's like, oh yeah, it's the Empire. They're the good guys. And it's like, well, okay. You know? Bit of adjustment for some people. Martha, look. Wilkes is here. <laughs> you don't say. Oh, welcome back, Welkies. <laughs> Hello. You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. I will say, I also appreciate the fact that this is a slightly older protagonist. I am... I can get into this later. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. I should know. <laughs> I've already had four of them. Little spud. I love women who are on, like... Not even their second pregnancy, but, like, third, fourth, or, or an up pregnancy. Because they're like, ah, whatever. You know? You can have fun with it. <laughs> Hello there. Um, it, is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? Alicia. Okay. I just wanted to apologize. That's Alicia. kind of her. Um, here. If I had almost been executed on suspicion of being a war criminal, uh, for like crimes I didn't commit, I would like to get something for it. Really? These fresh baked baked bread isn't actually you know what? I would accept fresh baked bread for that. I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live too. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Eat it up before you eat it, all right? <laughs> so it's not fre fresh fresh baked bread. I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Oh man. Thanks. It's probably one of those like pretzel loaves. Man? Shit, I gotta make I gotta make some more bread. As you all know, quarantine happened and everyone baked some fucking bread, and I'm 
I'm not immune to baking bread, so I baked some goddamn bread as well. Um, and like, it's pretty hard. But like, me and my brother-in-law, like, arrested and shot at. <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you? Uh, me and my brother-in-law did like make it into like peanut butter sandwiches, and like, it was pretty awesome. And that's the thing, like, if your bread sucks, just put some on it. Put more salt on it. Butter it, dip it in olive oil, peanut butter, anything, you know? And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. What? Wait, no, it's not like that. Martha's just, just pushing the dolls like together. Yeah, that's all. Clinking those little wooden faces. This game's awesome. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. <laughs> Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, or else I'll execute him as a war criminal. <laughs> be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously, Martha. Enough with the Welkies already. That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? <laughs> you know the conversation's drying up and you're just looking around the looking around the house you're in, like trying to start conversation. I remember at one point I was at a party and I was like, you have a lovely home to someone indicating that the conversation has dried up. And then she was like, I don't live here. And then I didn't say another thing for the rest of the night. Damn. Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's dad. Which one is your dad? Is it both of them? That's dad. You're a lucky guy. You came out of those balls. Damn. And who's that with him there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The general's tank was his creation. Wait a minute. But I thought the general was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. They're not blood siblings. Oh, no. The general was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. I have so many opinions I want to share, but I want to do it in combat. Yeah. We're not related. No. To okay, good. Don't make it weird. Don't make it weird. If you make it weird, I'm uninstalling this game, and I'm going to find out who directed it, and I'm going to execute him for war crimes. Sorry. Was that question too personal? He's going to the gulag, you know? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Everyone's sharing pleasantries about their dad. I've got to get out of here before they find out I'm an orphan. Why see you off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. I assumed Isara was like sickly or something. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. And that's why uh, Welkin mentioned that she would have issues getting the hell out of here. But I guess it's because of um. I guess it's because of uh, the pregnant lady in their house. Uh. That's good. That's this game's really good. I'm having a lot of fun. Like this is this is more fun than I expected it would be. I'm already in on the story. I like, I, I can appreciate a good war. I can appreciate a good wartime story. And the thing is, the further back you push war, the more fun it is. Because when I look at like a modern like Call of Duty, and it's like civilians being firebombed, there are 10 dead babies a second, then like, it's not fun for me. It's like watching a horror movie where the, the slasher is just a, a man with a gun. Like, I live in the States. That's that's not a horror movie. That's, like, Tuesday. Th that happens, you know? That's that's regular. And, uh, like, modern warfare... I know that the game is called that, but modern warfare isn't really that fun, you know? Like, the realistic shit where, like, you get shot with a gun and then you die. Like, yes, that's what happens in real life, but that's not fun for me. I don't play video games for that. And it's why, to make it fun, you either have to push it into the future, like Titanfall or Halo. Man, this is coming out right after Halo as well, I think. That's jarring, to say the least. That's, a, that's an abrupt adjustment. 
Um, but yeah, like... You either have to push... To make war games fun, you either have to push it into the future or into the past. Because otherwise, it's it's not really that fun. Uh, but I'm having fun with this. This is nice. Uh, but yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Valkyria Chronicles. I'm having a very good time. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.